miserable man. I uh, thought you might like some bubbly. Well, what about a toast to, uh, hmm, those foggy days in London town? Why weren't you this persistent then? Well, chalk it up to you. I was only a timid little art student then. You later became? A very forthright museum director. Oh, you have to be a, a fire breather when you're a fundraiser. <laughs> but all that's finished now. I resigned last month. Any special reason? Mm -hmm. Quite a few, but mainly because, well, I just want to take a leisurely look at all the wonders that I've been too busy rushing past to notice. Ever thinking of doing the same thing? Jenny, I appreciate what you're trying to do, and uh, I'm sorry about it, that I truly am. Enough said. But you must understand one thing. I can't feel anymore. My emotions are as paralyzed as my legs. Nothing touches me, nothing moves me. But you wouldn't understand that, would you? Live every day as though... As though it were my last? Yes, because, well, I believe that's the way life should be led. You know, I'm not a gambler, and I know I'm on this earth just one time. Oh, I don't want to waste one minute of it. I had me, Jenny. Tell you what, tomorrow we're going to dock at Mazatlan. Come ashore with me. There's a picturesque old plaza and a mission that was built by... Jenny, please. Oh, come on. Say yes, just for once. You know, it might get to be a habit. Attention, ladies and gentlemen, the last tour bus into Mazatlan leaves in five minutes. Do you think Mr. Ellis will show up? I'm not sure. Jenny's done about all she can. That's a pretty thick wall he's built around himself. Well, if anybody can do it, your Jen can. Captain. Oh, I was beginning to think you wouldn't be here. I wasn't going to be. My mind was all made up. Oh, well, that changed your mind. I suddenly discovered I couldn't disappoint you. got through to him. She's quite a lady. I never met anybody with so much to give. And so little time left to give it. What? Last night, she told me why she quit the museum. She's losing her eyesight, you. In about six or eight months, she'll be totally blind. I just checked with Lost and found about your purse. Nobody's turned it in yet. Silly of me to lose it. Uh, something strange has happened, Jenny. Until today, I had nothing to look forward to. Nothing. Now I certainly see I may have a future ahead of me. Pretty good start for one day. And Jenny, I'd like you to be part of the future. I understand what you're saying, will it? It just can't be, that's all. It already is. There's an old Chinese proverb that says, if you save a man's life, you're responsible for it. You know, I think that um, it's been a pretty long day for both of us. If you'll excuse me, I'd like to lie down before I've done it. this way. You see now, I'm afraid he's about to ask me to marry him. Oh. Well, is that so bad? Oh, you've seen what his accident did to him psychologically. After a year, he's just beginning to get over it. And now, if he receives an emotional jolt from me, I just don't know if he'll be able to handle it. 
But what about you, Jenny? Don't your feelings count? I'll tell you a secret, Meryl. In spite of two bad marriages of my own, I never did get over them. And when you love someone, it's infinitely more important what happens to him than to you. I'm just feeling quiet, that's all. Oh, I see someone's found my purse. Thank you. Uh, one of the passengers found it in the mission. You, uh, you don't think very much of me, do you? If you did, you wouldn't lie to me. I have never lied to you. Not even by omission. I did a uh, miserable thing. To make sure it was yours, I looked inside the purse, and uh, there was a letter from your doctor. You should have told me. You should have had more faith in the new stand you helped make him. This doesn't change a thing. In a few months, I won't be good for anything. Oh, nonsense. You sound like the old me. Use my eyes, Jenny. We'll both look at life together. That would never really... Have you forgotten your own soon? Today is the first day of the rest of your life. You made a believer out of me, Jenny. The only way you can stop me is if you tell me you don't believe it now. I do, at least. <laughs> at least I did. I think that it's settled. There's, uh, there's one thing you should know. The reason I didn't return to you. When I got back to America, there was a surprise waiting for me. A daughter. My daughter. Ellen never told me I was a father. She didn't want me to come back to her just because of that. Uh, but when I saw the child, I... I do love you, Jenny. Always have. Always will. from now on, both of you. Well, I imagine we'll make the reservation as soon as we get settled. No need to make a reservation. Next trip's on me. Oh, that is an invitation the Ellis's can't refuse. Maybe next time I'll be without these wheels. Meanwhile, we're going to New York. There's a nice specialist I want Jenny to meet. Wonderful. It is wonderful. Oh, one question, Captain. Tell me, uh, why ever do people call this the love boat? They do. 